Are you looking for an alternative to the Rode Video Micro? Do you have this problem where your dead cat just falls off all the time? Well, I have an alternative solution and it's the Comica CVM VM Tem 2. It's basically their compact microphone that competes with the Rode. And that video is coming up next. Hi, my name's Brian the Camera Guy. If you're new to my channel, I review camera gear along with accessories that go along with those cameras. If that's something you're into, consider clicking that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. In today's video, I have a competitor to the Rode Video Micro and it is the Comica CVM VM102, otherwise known as a compact micro shotgun directional microphone. So I'd like to thank my friends over at Video Transformer for sending this over to me to review for you today. Today I'm gonna go ahead, unbox it, let you know what you get in the box, and we'll even do an audio quality test. This is a mini shotgun microphone. Comes with a carotenoid body. It can be used for smartphones and for cameras, DSLRs, mirrorless cameras. So as I go ahead and open this, this was sent to me free to review for you guys. We got some instruction paperwork here come out right to your cell phone or to your DSLR, mirrorless camera. And then we have the microphone right here. So this is the actual microphone. Remember kids, don't eat these. Uh, but this is the microphone. Look how small that thing is. So it's tiny, fits right on there. Um, it's actually a little bit bigger than uh, the Rode mic from first glance. So this is the Rode. So this is the Rode Video Micro. So comparison wise, it looks like it's a little bit longer. Looks like it's got a good inch and a half on this Rode Video Micro. Also comes with the wind muff, which uh, you have to take off the wind screen, it looks like, to, to apply that. It also comes with two cables. So one cable is to connect up with your camera. So the one that you connect up with your camera only has two black lines. Where the one that connects up to your cell phone actually comes with comes with a gray end, which has three black stripes on it. That's how you know it connects into your cell phone. So your cell phone's gonna need the one with the three black stripes, where your camera's gonna need the one with two black stripes. So it's got this cute little wind muff on it, little, little pop, pop guard on here. But I believe this comes off in order to secure the wind muff on there. All right, so I guess that just goes on there like that. Perhaps it doesn't go in further, um, but it looks like it just goes on the end here. And there is the wind muff. So it's a pretty big wind muff. Um, seems pretty secure, uh, which is kind of nice. This thing does go to negative 34 decibels all the way up to plus three decibels. It looks very similar to your Rode Video Micro. It's got this little shock mount on here. So a little shock mount here to absorb some of the shock. But I really like, really like how this, how it comes with this little, this little windscreen here. If you're mounting it up above, you could have it as a pop filter almost, or you could even use it as a directional shotgun microphone. Uh, the cord's not super long, so uh, so if you were going to do some, maybe you'd want an adapter or some of that if you're going to run it up above. But I did do a video on, on the Comica V30 Lite. I'll link that up in the cards above if you want to see that one. Feels pretty, pretty heavy compared to the Rode Video Micro. Actually, I feel about the same weight, same weight. So it's not gonna really uh, impact your, your footprint very much. Uh, the Rode Video Micro does come with a standard uh, camera cable. So if you were gonna hook it up to your cell phone, you would need to get a special adapter in order to make this work. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead, I am gonna throw on the Rode Video Micro and uh, give you an audio quality test while we have the, the Comica version right down here. So give me one second. All right, so we're back. I got the Rode Video Micro on here. It is a slightly windy day. I do have the wind muff on the Rode Video Micro. So let me know down in the comments below how the audio quality sounds from the Rode Video Micro. So this is audio test one, two, three, audio test one, two, three. I'm gonna switch over to the Comica version 
the Comica CVMVM102. You guys gotta think of a shorter. Yeah, you gotta think of a shorter name for this. How about just the micro directional shotgun microphone? So let's go ahead. I'm gonna throw the Wim off on this one. So we compare apples to apples. And I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up with the camera, camera strap right now. So give me one second. We'll be right back. All right, so now I'm back. I got the Comica CVMVM102. Like I said, not the uh, most friendliest of names. So I currently have it on the tripod. I'm shooting on my Sony A6400. Originally, I had my lav mic set at five. Right now, when I shot with the Rode Video Micro, I turned it all the way up to 13. And now with the Comica CV, uh, the, the mic, the Comica version, I have it set at, uh, currently at seven. So you definitely get a little bit more audio gain out of this microphone. Let me know, hopefully the wind is being blocked by this wind muff. The one thing I will say about the Rode Video Micro is it does a great job blocking out the wind. So like I said, there's a slight breeze today, so we'll see how this Comica version is, is working. This is the audio quality you can expect to receive out of the Comic Micro shotgun microphone. Audio test one, two, three, audio test one, two, three. So right now I got the Rode Video Micro on the camera doing a little vlogging test here to test out the audio quality. It's a little bit of a windy day, not too bad, but it is a little windy. Uh, so go ahead and comment down below. Let me know if you can hear any of that wind. Otherwise, this is the audio quality test of the Rode Video Micro. Audio test one, two, three, audio test one, two, three. Comment down below and let me know how the audio quality sounds. Now we're back with the Comica CVM VM102. And this is the audio quality that you can expect to receive out of this microphone. I do have the Wim Wuff on here. One of the things I can tell you is that the microphone cord does stretch a little bit further, so it gives me a little bit more clearance to get around that flippy uppy screen. I also have the Wim Wuff on there, and uh, you can let me know how the audio quality sounds with the Wim Wuff. Um, there is slight wind happening right now, so I'm not sure how that wind muff is working. Hopefully it's working pretty good. But it is also nice how that wind muff does kind of get out of your way. It doesn't come really close to the hot chute. So go ahead, comment down below. Let me know which one you think sounds better, either the Comica or the Rode. Now, back to the video. Now I got my boy a BY M1 microphone. So after thinking about it, uh, the one thing that uh, does bother me is you get the wind muff, but unfortunately this little wind guard, this sound guard, pop guard does have to come off in order for you to put it on here which isn't a deal breaker but tend to lose things when they're not together so uh, if there's one downside that i see to the system is you have two different wind protectors so i guess the question you got to ask yourself do you want to keep the dead cat on all the time or do you want to use the wind muff my recommendation is definitely use the dead cat outside and the wind muff inside so maybe if you have two separate setups that would be the way to go I haven't listened to the audio quality yet, so you're gonna have to comment down below. Let me know what you think of the audio quality of this Comica mic. It, it seems very, very sturdy, where the Rode Video Micro seems very plasticky. So I'm not sure if that's gonna do any better for it. You can just feel the extra little, little bit that's in this thing. So will that end up uh, lasting and standing the test of time? W one can only tell. But uh, this has been a review of the Comica CBM VM102 micro directional shotgun microphone from Comica. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to see more, comment down below with which microphone you thought sounded better. Don't forget to hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on my future videos. Until the next video, my name is Brian the Camera Guy. Thanks for watching. So you have to make a choice. Do you want to keep the dead cat on all the time?